Today we check out how the Grease Trip went. Hey, Legs, I'm here More information on the musical tonight. Open for and we went on a stroll with Joseph Crony. The team, honestly. Our high was 74 degrees yesterday and snow chances return. Details on that are coming up. Hey Vikes, I'm Jordan. And I'm Cameron, and you're watching SVTV. Tomorrow is the last day for those interested in traveling to Spain in June of 2020. The sign up is outside of W20. This trip is open for current freshmen through seniors. Speaking of trips, Mr. McAllister took a group of students along with a couple of teachers to Greece. Let's check it out. Over spring break, a group of SEMA students and teachers from SHS took a trip to Greece. The favorite place for me was Nafplion. It was a Greek seaside town and had a, there was a Venetian fortress on the mountain overlooking the town and we get to go to the fortress and secret passages and it was still almost completely intact. Nafplion was probably one of my favorite places. It, uh, it was very like pedestrian friendly. You could walk everywhere to all the shops and it had great food, great views. It was pretty windy when we went. Uh, I'd recommend going when it's less windy. Uh, my favorite place was definitely Delphi. The views were just amazing and the atmosphere, just the city and everything was awesome. Many of the students had a great time and would like to go back. Yes, I would go back in a heartbeat and I would spend less time in Athens. Other than visiting the Acropolis, uh, Athens, the city itself is quite hideous. If we went back, I wouldn't spend as much time in Athens. Uh, it was a big metropolitan city and I don't think you really get as much reward out of going to Athens versus anywhere else in Greece. I would definitely go back. I mean, there were so many different things that we didn't get enough time at, I, I thought, and we could just get a lot more time at those places. This is the first trip Mr. McAllister planned for SHS. In the future, he will be planning trips to other European countries. That looked like fun. Seniors, sign up to be considered to give the opening statement, the graduation address, or the closing speech at graduation. You will need to submit your speech to Mrs. Welch by Monday, April 15th, for her to review. Afterglow tickets will be on sale next week. If you plan on bringing an outside date, you need to get one from the front office. They're due April 9th. Legally Blonde the Musical performances begin tonight, continuing on Friday and Saturday. Tickets are $8 and the show starts at 7 p.m. Allie caught up with the theater department. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mason and Zach to talk about the musical tonight. So why should students get out there? People should go see the musical because it helps support your friends who are in it. And also it's a fun little story uh, and a lot of work has gone into it. And I don't want this all to be for nothing, so please, I'm begging you. <laughs> what time do the doors open? Uh, doors open at 6.30. Okay. What's the price? It's $8 to get in. Okay. Make sure and get out there this weekend. Now back to your anchors. <laughs> Make sure you go to the musical this weekend. Juniors wanting to graduate early, your letters are due to Mr. Alexander today. The first student organized career fair is less than a month away. Tickets to help navigate students to the correct location on sale for seniors April 3rd, juniors April 4th, and sophomores April 17th. Any student interested in being a Spirit Club officer next year need to pick up an application from Guys. Applications are due April 10th. Now let's see what Cameron has cooking up in the sports. Somewhat of a song expert and host of the world famous Guess the Song, Ethan Guzman has hidden small rectangular shaped pieces of cardboard around the school. If you are one of the lucky contestants that returns one of these cards to him, you can be in the next Guess the Song. So start hunting. Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead, while Jason would rather lay in bed. 
Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. I went and talked with Joe a little bit about his track season is going. Pain is in the building. I'm here with Joe to talk about his track season so far. So how are you expecting the season to go? Um, I'm really just hoping for a bunch of personal PRs and then for the team, honestly, to get a bunch of PRs themselves and make sure we've been improving. Gotcha. Do you have a specific pre-meet routine? Uh, mostly, at least for us distance guys, we'll just do a couple laps to warm up, stretch around, and then just act like idiots for a little while and get ready to run. How is your cat Amy doing? Amy's doing great, still soft as ever. <laughs> How did your last meet go? Um, last meet, uh, personally, I took third in the 4 by 8 and then as a team, we took third place, losing to a very, very stacked Manhattan. Well, that's good. And when is your next meet? Um, JV will be running this week at thir or this week on Wednesday at Shawnee Heights, and then Varsity will be running this Thursday at Washburn Rural, so come out and support your team. Okay, that's all we have. Now back to your anchors. Sounds like it's going great. The softball apparel link has been reopened. Check Schoology if you are interested. There will be a volleyball parent meeting on April 11th in the Commons at 6 p.m. Pick up summer weights forms in W9. Auxiliary band dance team tryouts are Saturday, April 27th. The clinic is from 9 to 12 and tryouts start at 1. If you're interested, come to W12 on April 3rd during activity period. There will be a spirit night next Tuesday, April 2nd during the Lady Vikes soccer games. There will be a free pizza and nacho there will be free pizza and drawings for free nachos. JV game is at 4.30 and varsity starts at 6. The girls swim team is headed to Hummer to compete in their second meet of the season and the track team is headed to Washburn Rural to compete as well. Good luck to the Vikes. Now let's see what Joshua Jude Duggan has in store with the, for, with the forecast. Good afternoon to you. Here's what we're tracking weather-wise for today. A little bit cooler than yesterday, but still not bad for this time of the year. Topping out around 67 degrees, but the difference between today and yesterday is that there will be more storms. We're tracking the possibility for isolated storms through the early afternoon hours, and then we should start to get rid of the thunder and lightning by the time we head into the evening. Just some scattered showers remaining for the second half of the evening this evening. So beyond that, we are looking at a marginal risk for severe weather for areas generally along and north of I-70 today. That means if we do get under one of those heavier thunderstorms, can't completely rule out some hail or gusty winds with, those, with that activity. Tomorrow, more rain is expected throughout the day on and off, showers and thunderstorms again for your Friday. Some of this could be heavy as well and rainfall amounts should get up over a half inch when we combine today's and tomorrow's. Then the colder air starts to move in for Saturday and you see some of this scattered blue on the map. That is a sign of some snow. Yeah, rain and snow, a mixture of both are possible early Saturday morning by the afternoon should be beginning to push out of the area. So overall for the weekend, it's just looking pretty chilly. 45 degrees for your high on Saturday, 47 for Sunday. Then we start to rebound. Check that out by next Wednesday, 65 degrees. Now, Cameron and Jordan, back to you. That's it for today, Vikes. Make sure you go out and support your Vikes tonight.